Hi, everyone. My name is Nick Butcher. I'm a designer and engineer at Google, and I'm also a vector addict. And I've got five minutes to tell you some about, about some of the advanced features that vector drawables Android's vector format supports. So let's get started. So I posit that most assets in your application should be vectors these days. Um, vectors are awesome. They're sharp on every single density display. Um, they're very small. They compress well, so they don't blow your APK. Um, but they're also extremely flexible. And I want to talk about this a bit today so you can get the most out of vectors to um, realize these benefits as widely as possible. So most vectors in your app probably look something like this. They have some paths, and they're probably hard coding a color, um, something like this fill or stroke here. Maybe you're using a color resource like this. Um, but there's actually a lot more you can do here, which I want to talk about. Um, the first thing is using theme colors. So you can use theme colors in two ways, really. The first is by applying a theme color as a tint. Um, this will tint the entire drawable um, based on the current theme. So here I'm using the theme attribute color control normal, which is the normal color for icons. Uh, and as such, you can have one single asset which displays in different um, themes, say a light screen or a dark screen, and it gets tinted to be the right color. You no longer have to worry what color asset you got from your designers in the SVG, um, that they got exactly the right shade of gray that you need. Um, it'll be tinted at runtime, so it's always correct. You can also use theme colors um, directly in the fill or stroke. So in this example here, I'm going to use color primary. So say you have different screens in your app, like say a sports app, which uses um, a theme for a given team. Um, you can reference that theme color. So you can have a single drawable, which just parts of it get colored based on the theme, which can be useful. Cool, that was theme colors. Next up, color state lists. So vector support um, referencing color state lists. So you can do some fun stuff. So in this example, um, on a press state, we're changing color. Or perhaps you have a list app um, where when a row item is selected, you could have changed the rendering using, um, using that state. You could do this with a normal state list drawable and two drawables and flip between them. Um, but if, say, the rendering is like 99% the same, you just want to change like the stroke here, this saves some duplication. Um, you define it like this, like a regular color state list in your um, color resources, and refer to it as you would like a color resource. And last, my favorite feature is gradients. Um, so vectors support three different types of gradients, uh, linear, radial, and sweep, which you define like this. Uh, so a linear gradient has a start and end x, y coordinate. A radial has a center and a radius. And a sweep just has a center point. I've so far been using this um, shorthand of start, end, or even center colors to define gradients. But you can actually get much more fine-grained and embed these item tags inside it to define individual color stops. So here I'm going for a specific color at 72% of the way through. Like color state lists, you define gradients in a color resource directory, or you can use the inline resource syntax to embed it inside the vector definition itself. And at build time, AAPT will actually extract that to a color resource and insert a reference to it for you, which is handy. So gradients have been super handy in building apps. Like here's an illustration from a former year's I.O. app, which um, if we'd made it as a gradient would be, with gradient support, would have been um, one fifth the size of the uh, RAS that we had to ship and sharp everywhere. It's really useful for things like um, adaptive icons, because unfortunately vectors don't support um, drop shadows, but you can fake it a lot of the time using gradients. Or if you need to build something like a customized spinner, this is really trivial to achieve using a, a radial uh, gradient. So gradients only support. Um, certain shapes, like this linear, radial, and sweep. But um, paths and vectors can be transformed, like rotated and so on. Um, so in this example, I wanted to create this oval-shaped shadow beneath the, beneath the jetpack droid. Um, so I did this by drawing a circle um, with a radial gradient, and then using the scale Y feature to transform it to produce the effect that I was after. If the gradient you define doesn't fill the entire shape you're drawing to, you can use the tile mode to control how it fills the rest of the area. So in this example, um, the default mode of clamp, it just continues the color outwards. If you use a repeat mode, it'll repeat between the gradient, going back and um, continuing it. Uh, or a, a mirror mode will go back and forth through the gradient. You can also um, use gradients which don't go through different colors. So by using um, the same color between two stops and having the next stop start at the same point, you can have these solid, solid color blocks. Like, why would you want a gradient that doesn't do that? Well, you can have some fun with some pretty cool effects. So this example of a rainbow is a, with one single shape using a radial gradient with these solid color stops. Um, you can do like something like a loading spinner, or you can combine it with the tile mode to make some kind of um, pattern support. So this is the gradient over this area, and the, pat the tile mode repeats it to give you a pattern. And you can have some fun doing something like animating it to produce this kind of loading effect. So hopefully I've shown you that vectors are sharp, small, and extremely flexible, so you can use them um, everywhere. As a final example, I want to show you what you can build. This is a single um, animated vector drawable uh, drawn by um, the amazing uh, Virginia Poltrack, and I had the pleasure of animating it. Um, so this is like one vector drawable, extremely small, extremely sharp on every display. You can have some fun with them. So that's vector drawables. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.